The year was 1938. At the movies, the hits were Boys Town, starring Spencer Tracy and Mickey Rooney, and Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Kate Smith sang for the first time, God Bless America. Orson Welles terrified his radio audience with a broadcast of War of the Worlds. Time Magazine's Man of the Year was German Chancellor Adolf Hitler. The first Superman action comic book was published. The first seeing eye dog in the United States, German Shepherd Dog Buddy, died. And the German Shepherd Dog Training Club of Chicago was founded. On March 15, 1938, 23 enthusiasts accepted the Founders' invitation to join the club. Within two weeks, the club participated in its first licensed obedience trial at the International Kennel Club of Chicago, the International Amphitheater. That was on April 2nd, 1938. The club's first exhibition of obedience, Six Dogs Entered. Our first obedience trial was held September 18th. 22 dogs entered. By the end of the year, there were 50 members. For 10 years, the club used the training field in Franklin Park, but in 1948, these grounds were no longer available, and the membership decided it was time to purchase their own land. The club purchased 1.4 acres of land in Lombard. During the interim period, the club trained in Chicago. Many events were run to raise money for the property and the club. Card parties, Thanksgiving parties, turkey raffles, even selling kisses. On a rainy Saturday in October of 1950, through the mud, ground was broken for our new clubhouse. By February 1952, the building was complete. With the exception of the addition of a kitchen and washrooms, the entire building was done by club members. Kitchen and washrooms were added a couple of years later. He was a longtime member and a guiding influence here. Irv Lang was one of the true backbones in the sport of obedience. He, along with his wife Edna, joined the club to train their first dog. After two years of active participation in normal club functions and training sessions, Irv became a regular instructor. He had extraordinary talents which the club recognized in making him director of training after only two years. With an abundance of patience, liking people, loving their dogs, and unparalleled devotion, he saw the club greatly prosper. For 24 years, Irv faithfully served so that during his time as DOT, the club boasted that their members received over 1,100 individual obedience titles, including 50 who are honored on our UDT Wall of Fame. The club produced more fine quality obedience judges under Irv than any other club could ever dream. Personal accomplishments were many too. Most notably was his dog Bonnie affording her the distinction of becoming the most titled German Shepherd dog in U.S. history at that time, officially recorded as Grand Victress Champion Bonnie Berger of Kenrose, U-D-T-R-O-M. The club has honored the memory of Irv with his own Wall of Fame and with the Irv Lang Memorial Trophy given to the high combined winner of our annual Summer Obedience Trial. The club acted as host to the GSDCA National Specialty Obedience Trial in August of 56, with 140 German Shepherds entered in 165 classes. This was the first time the Nationals ever held in the Midwest. The club was asked again to host Nationals a year later. This is John Curley and his dog Billy Von Curley. In 1981, Billy became the first Arch TDX dog in U.S. history.
After 38 years in Lombard, we were forced to move again due to the state of Illinois building Route 355 through the middle of our property. This time we found a new location in Hanover Park where we live today. Though established as an AKC club, today our members are involved with many aspects of training, showing, and working with our dogs in the community. Nose work is probably one of the newest dog sports that have come up on the horizon. Originally started in California, the organization National Association of Canine Scent Work was formed. This organization teaches dogs to work finding different scents in different scenarios. These trials are judged only by current and former military and police canine handlers. In the German show ring, VA-1 Oden von Middlewest Schutzen 3 KKL-1A became the 2012 USCA Seeger Champion. And in the American breed ring, Bronze Grand Champion, Champion Fräulein Sergeant Rose of Glenwood, BNCDRNCGCTDI. Both of these are firsts in the history of our club.
TD Hall of Fame, we have Smitty Callbacks, Nitro Von Santana, Manzanillo, UDX TD, and Lori Waters, Och Blitzen's Pretty Risky UDX TD. The photos on our Och TDX Hall of Fame are those of John Curley's Och Billy Von Curley TDX and Mary Jane Flugel's Och Citalite's Talent Scout UDX TDX. The UDT Hall of Fame currently holds 140 photos of dogs that have achieved this title. 